dog world, the dog equivalent on how man is justified to eat another man. Thanks, Raj. Now, basically, this is not justified for the government to pass a policy like this. Why? Does this mean that if culture states a certain underdeveloped psychology, does that mean that the government should go against the international community and actually uh, follow what the these cultures, these underdeveloped cultures follow at? Now, these are the historic mindset that the government has, ladies and gentlemen. Now, before I go on to my analysis, let me go uh, first tell you the fact that has happened in this debate. First, whether or not this, this is justified for the government to pass policies such as this, and second, whether or not this is morally correct to do so, uh, Mr. Speaker Sam, ladies and gentlemen. Now, first I'm going to analyze on how they perceive culture as. Now, we see other cultures following implementing other uh, types of uh, uh, implementation, such as female genital mutilation, honor killing, stone for uh, uh, stone because of rape. Now, we see honor killing being done even with the consent of the people. But we do not see people, we do not see international community, even the ethics, agreeing with this kind of policy. Do you do, even, do you people agree with the idea of killing even though uh, there's consent, such as euthanasia, such as this high kind of idea? Sit down, Keisha. Now, even these cases show how culture does not continue, how these cultures have stopped. Even in the cases of Papua, where they're, uh, even in their example, how this is already condemned by their own culture. Why is this? Now, I'm going to analyze further on the government side of the house. Now, even if, now the government has the power to change this kind of trends. The government is the only body that has the power to change change uh, culture, ladies and gentlemen, especially when these cultures go against the value of body and the uh, body autonomy, especially the value of human life, ladies and gentlemen. Now, these culture uh, is banned by the government because of a reason, because international law does not agree with this idea. Now, when they talk about the religion, this, is not, this does not comply with this. Why is this, ladies and gentlemen? Because the practice of religion is the practice of faith, and it does not degrade the value of human life, nor does uh, it degrade the, value of the basic value of human now, why is that? Because even hate speeches, when they degrade the value of a religion or value of human rights, then and then only is that perceived as a bad value, and then and then only when the government bans it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if culture creates policy that harms the value, then we should not do it. There's no religion, we don't see any religion practicing this kind of ideology, ladies and gentlemen, where it's justified for a person to eat another person's uh, body, ladies and gentlemen, especially in uh, high religions where this is already condemned. We see how how this is condemned in religions, ladies and gentlemen. We see how the UN has condemned this, especially how the international community has condemned this in the future. The Hindu burn the dead after they die. People also smoke, which causes bodily harm to yourself throughout the years. Why is that allowed? Exactly, because burning of uh, the body is considered and is actually does not degrade the value of this kind of body itself. It actually yeah. preserves the yeah. body. Yeah. And how you have to know this, that even though these bodies are burned, they are thrown at sea, the ashes are thrown at sea, because it shows the value of how these people, uh, these burned bodies are. Yeah. We even see how even in our, uh, we even see on how religion are haven going against, ladies and gentlemen. We see how in the cases of Al-Qaeda, even though their religion states uh, that killing is okay, we do not see how international community is agreeing because just because their religion, ladies and gentlemen. We have shown you how even religion, which do not imply good values, are still being condemned. We see Al-Qaeda, when their religion practices the killing of people and says how it's justified, they are condemned by the UN, especially international community. Now, moving on to my own idea on how they state that this should be commonly accepted. Now, because according to how life is there and how their ethics are right, now, in, oh, think the ideology of drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Now, even if I have the right and I can use drugs, this not does not mean, sit down. Now, this does not mean that it is uni universally accepted, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it does not prove on how this will not degrade the value of heart. This will not degrade, this will definitely degrade the value of human life. That is what the opposition is trying to preserve here. On how even cultures sometimes you do go against and take irrational decisions on how they do not care on the value of the kind of human life. No, sit down. Now, we see even child soldiers. Some cultures accept child soldiers and think that this is an ethical value and think that this is an irrational value. Do you think that? Now, this idea itself shows you on how, in practicality, culture does not. Uh, some cultures in the past have shown you how this is ethically not correct, ladies and gentlemen. This has shown you how this is not the right way to go, sure. especially towards child soldiers. You can see how even the UN condemned it. Now, when we see the international community condemned it, this is because they have been trying and they've been fighting all their life to preserve rights of people, preserve the value that is there between humans, especially the idea on how. Uh, 
the, uh, on how the value of women, even though it's consent, that is morally wrong to do so, ladies and gentlemen, especially in terms of ethics. Now, moving on to my last point, but before I move on. In Amsterdam, you were allowed to do drugs. Doesn't that show that the universality concept is always adjusted to what the society believes in? <laughs> of German, especially in Philippines, where people do uh, uh, do honor killings, especially towards consent, and it's moral incorrect to do so, even with the person's consent, they do eat people's life, and this is morally incorrect. Why? Because the UN has still con uh, condemned this kind of policy. Now, in terms of drugs, yes, we see that drugs are actually being okay, but still, come on, logically, come on, uh, the, not all drugs are actually being legal in them. <laughs> <laughs> on how uh, isolation, how they believe in other speech that underdeveloped countries, we should let leave them be. This is not what the government was set to do. The government was set to do to protect their whole society, to ensure that the best policy is being created for their whole society, and ensuring that the, main, the uh, only justified policies are being done for the society. They should not leave these kind of cultures underdeveloped, but instead we have to see how it has been successful in Papua when they ban this kind of human, uh, human eating culture, and it has been successful on how Papua has actually developed, ladies and gentlemen. So we have shown you how even their example have got played, uh, how it backlash their own case, on showing that banning this kind of culture has actually been uh, successful in developing this kind of country, and backlash their idea on leaving underdeveloped countries that way. Because this is not what the government was set to do. The government is there, uh, the government has the duty towards the society to ensure the best policies are taken. And we have to ensure that the policies that are be ta being taken by the government does not uh, go against the international community because this will go against the idea of fighting the human right uh, value, the idea of preserving a body, and the idea of the high uh, value of life itself. We have shown you how this will degrade the human value, body of uh, value, how the nature of body, even in at afterlife, it is a sensitive factor, ladies and gentlemen. How the evolution of culture has been there and it has been successful in showing you uh, improvements in the future, and how underdeveloped should be changed, especially by the government. And this way, we should oppose the government. Thanks.